This week is Pasha Zohar. We read the uh, Maftir of Zohar Sashros al Chamalik, the mitzvah of, of, of Mechia Samalik. And we read the Haftarah of Shmuel and Shaul, which is a continuation of that story because Shaul HaMelech, when he was king, he just became king, he was supposed to destroy, he was supposed to completely annihilate Agog and his, and Agog, the king of Amalek and the entire nation of Amalek. And he made a mistake, he made a tragic mistake, it was a fatal mistake, he lost his kingdom because of that. And until the last moment, until Shmuel explained it to him, he didn't even realize. Shmuel came to him and told him, you did something terrible. And he didn't even realize that he did something so terrible. What did he do? He left Agog alive. He saved some of the livestock, some of them were for carbonates. And Shmuel said, you didn't do what Hashem said. Hashem said to, to, to annihilate the entire nation, not to leave anything alive. No person, no animal, nothing should be left alive. Why didn't you do it? And because of that, he lost his kingdom. The Chazal, in, in analyzing Shoal's behavior, we know that Shoal himself said there's a Kalvachimer. It's We know that by Egla Rufa, one person is, is found, a dead person is found in between two cities. We don't know who killed him, so then we make a whole ceremony with the, with the calf, and we kill the calf. And then at that point, at that place, we, with the, that land is never allowed to be planted. So that everybody will know, this is a ter- the terrible tragedy happened here. One person died, and Shaul said, wow, for one person we make such a, such a big ceremony, and we make such a, such a, a sign for, forever that people should know. So now we're going to destroy a whole nation. We're not even going to show a little bit of Rahmanis, a little bit something. And Shaul said, because of that, he left Agog alive. And because of that, he, of course, he wanted to kill him the next day. But there was something happening over here that he felt that he had to show a little bit of mercy. He had to, he had to engage his feelings, his emotions of mercy. We know Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky comments on this story. And he says as follows. He says, we know that the Sefer HaChinuch teaches us, the Mesil Sesharim also, very in detail, quite a few times, labors this point that the actions of a person affect his inner, his inner um, neshama, his, his, his inner being. A person acts in a certain way, he becomes that. He becomes, a person acts with, with mercy, he becomes a merciful person. Even if a person is not born with those tendencies, but a person can train those tendencies by acting in those actions. For example, M. Sisharm gives the example, a person is not by nature a person who does things on time, who does things quickly and on time. But if he starts running to doing a mitzvah, so then it will train his inner, and his tendencies will change. His inner tendencies will become thus of a person who really wants to do everything on time, where, who actually gets everything done on time. And the, the Chinuch speaks about this also in terms of, 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 of Midas, of Rachmanus, of Achzorios. Gemara teaches that a person who is merachim on the person on the achzarim. So at the end, of the, at the end, it's going to turn out that he's going to be an achzar to those who he's supposed to be uh, supposed to show rachmanus to. What does that mean? Shol Amalek was supposed to show total achzarius to to Amalek because they're achzarim. He wasn't supposed to show any type of mercy at all. What happened? He showed a little bit of mercy. What happened at the end? We know this is a terrible story of the Noivi Arkainim that Shaul destroyed the entire city. They were not deserving of being killed. They were not deserving of being destroyed. And Shaul, in the place where he was supposed to show mercy, he showed he 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 he, 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 he did the opposite. He became an Achzar. So this says says uh, says Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky was Shaul's mistake. What was Shaul's mistake? Shaul's right that the Chinuch teaches it, and, and really what we do, our actions really affect our person, except there's one exception. The exception is a mitzvah. If a person is doing a mitzvah and he's doing it with the proper kavanah, there's no way that it could negatively affect his innermost tendencies and his, and, and his, and his inner being. It can't be. It can't be that HaKadosh Baruch tells a person to do a mitzvah, and because of that he becomes an, an achzar. It can't be. If, he, if he's a good person and he's doing the mitzvah properly, he will not become an evil person because he killed Amalek. Killing Amalek is a mitzvah. You're supposed to kill Amalek because they're terrible and it's the, and it's the symbol of, of, of evil in the world and we're supposed to destroy it completely. And this will not make a person evil by engaging in, in this action against Amalek who deserve it. And it's a mitzvah to do it. This will not affect the person at all. But what did Shmuel see? When Shmuel came, he saw that Shaul was showing a little bit of Rachmanes. So there was not a complete and total immersion in this mitzvah. He wasn't doing it completely. If he would have been doing it, he would not have even felt the need to do it. 
And we see, there's, there's, there's in the Pesukim itself, we see that they didn't want to take things for themselves. They weren't doing it completely, the Shem Shemaim, not for the sake of Hashem, for the sake of the mitzvah. And Shmuel said, you're right. In your case, because you did it in a way that was not completely immersed in the mitzvah, with the kavana, with the intentions of doing the mitzvah. So for you, it actually, it actually, it was, it was a problem. And, it, and actually, this action against the, 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 uh, the, the Amalekis led to show being being uh, being uh, terribly uh, uh, he engaged in the meat of Achzorius against Naivir Akainim who he wasn't supposed to because this actually did affect him and that's what Shmuel was telling him Shmuel was telling him you did the wrong thing you approached the mitzvah wrong you did the mitzvah you knew that you were supposed to do the mitzvah the mitzvah would not have affected you you didn't have to worry about it if you were doing it with the complete with the complete intention of, 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 of fulfilling HaKadosh Baruch Hu's mitzvah nothing of this would have happened we see later on in the Megillah which we're going to read in Mitzvah Shem right after Shabbos that Mordechai and Esther were so careful that the Yidin should not touch anything, none of the spoils and it's, and it's, it's repeated because Mordechai and Esther understood this was Shmuel's mistake Shmuel's mistake was that they, once they started looking at the, maybe we can take this maybe we can leave this, oh there's some sort of personal this, personal gain from this war, no there can't be any personal gain, it has to be totally the shame of Shemaim, if there's going to be some personal gain Jews engaged in war, what's going on, they're, they're destroying a nation only if it becomes a complete mitzvah with the total intention only to do the mitzvah then it won't affect them at all, and that's why they were so careful to do it to a it should be a time when we see with our own eyes the Samolik, the eradication of evil in this world. We should be Zaikh to Yeshua and the Khamas and a Freilichim Purim for us and for all of Klai Israel. Good Shabbos and a Freilichim Purim. Please don't forget to subscribe. You'll get the video every week by subscribing, put a like. Thank you very much. Good Shabbos.